Hi, this is Keith Townsend from VirtualizedGeek.com with another VMware Workstation demonstration video. And this video is a pretty practical example of how VMware Workstation can be used for us virtualization geeks to run an efficient uh, network at home. I had a ESXi server that was dedicated to running some VMs, specifically my Windows Home server, which is about 1.1 terabytes of disk space. Bought a new desktop with 32 gig of RAM, uh, SSD drive, and plenty of uh, slow spinning disk. So I wanted to migrate those VMs from that ESXi server to my VMware workstation. That's a pretty good challenge because it's a lot of uh, data would have taken a tremendous amount of time to transfer that data over uh, my slow wireless network. So instead of migrating the data, I decided to import the ESXi server itself. I took the physical drive out of the ESXi server, that desktop, and put it into my new desktop, and then dedicated that disk to a new ESXi bootable VM within VMware Workstation 9 saved me a ton of time and actually uh, uh, made the migration process very simple. So we'll actually walk through how to do that in this, de in this demonstration. So I've inserted the new disk into the physical workstation and we're gonna create a new VM. We're gonna create a custom VM. The custom VM will leave it as a VMware Workstation 9 compatible machine choose to install the operating system later, choose VMware ESX for the operating system, create a directory for the base virtual machine VMX file, select a couple of processors with a couple of cores, give it four gig of RAM. Again, this workstation has 32 gigs, so dedicating four gig of RAM to an ESXi server is not a problem. We're going to bridge the network so we can keep the same physical IP address that we had on the physical machine. Le leave the default I.O. types. And then instead of creating a new virtual disk, we're going to choose to use a physical disk, which is the big difference in creating a VM from a VMDK and using a physical disk to create the VM. We know that the physical disk is disk 2. Good way to tell which disk this is. I have three physical hard drives in this machine. You can uh, go through this process prior to inserting the disk uh, and look to see how your physical disks are numbered. And then, of course, the disk that you insert the last will be the last physical disk. Still needs a base VMDK file. Finish. The new machine is created. We'll boot it up. As you can see, it's booting up from the physical disk that's in my workstation. Uh, ESXi doesn't take very long to boot at all. My ESXi server has finished booting and it already has uh, been assigned an IP address for my DHCP server, which is actually the same IP address that was running when it was a physical server. This is done. My VMs that were loaded on this box actually do work. There's a server running, a Windows Home server running on in this ESXi server, and it's up and available to uh, back up my workstation machines on my physical network. Thanks for checking out my videos. Hope to present a new one soon.